Once upon a time, the world's innovation flowed in one direction, from west to east. But in this century, the compass is spinning again. From Bengaluru to Beijing, from Nairobi to Lagos, a new technological heartbeat is pulsing, and it's changing everything. A generation ago, Africa was seen mainly as a source of raw materials. Today, it is becoming a laboratory for high-tech experiments that promise to lift hundreds of millions into new prosperity. And behind this quiet revolution stand two giants, India and China. Their motives differ, their methods vary, but their goal is shared, to help build Africa's high-tech future and, in the process, redefine the architecture of global industry. Welcome to Iazicho Africa, where we uncover how this new industrial revolution is already reshaping the world. For decades, Africa supplied raw copper, cobalt, and coffee while importing finished phones and computers. Its young population, over 60% under 25, watched from the sidelines as others wrote the code and built the chips. That narrative is ending. By 2025, more than 600 million Africans will be online. Cities like Kigali, Nairobi, Lagos, and Accra now host thriving startup ecosystems. Fiber optic cables snake under the Indian Ocean, connecting directly to data centers in Mumbai and Guangzhou. When global demand for low-cost, skilled technology production exploded, India and China recognized Africa as the next frontier. Rather than competitors, they saw themselves as collaborators in a continental transformation. India brings one unrivaled advantage, affordable technology for massive populations. Its digital India and UPI payments revolutions prove that inclusion and innovation can coexist. Through bilateral programs, Indian engineers now share those blueprints with African partners. Mobile money systems inspired by UPI are appearing in Kenya and Ghana. Telemedicine networks built from India's experience now connect doctors in Chennai with hospitals in Addis Ababa. India's strength lies in human capital. Thousands of African students study engineering and IT at Indian universities every year. Under the Pan-Africa e-network, online lectures link professors from Delhi University with learners in remote villages across 30 African countries. In these classrooms, the seeds of a shared future are planted. Indian firms such as Tech Mahindra, Tata Consultancy Services, and Infosys have opened African offices, training local coders. Joint ventures assemble affordable smartphones in Ethiopia and electric two-wheelers in Rwanda. The approach is cooperative, not extractive. Train locally, build locally, sell locally. China's contribution begins with concrete and steel. Over the last two decades, Chinese companies have built more than 6,000 kilometers of African railways and hundreds of industrial parks. These are not just transport links, they're data routes, energy corridors, and factory networks ready for high-tech tenants. Through the Belt and Road Initiative, Chinese telecom giants installed 5G infrastructure in dozens of African capitals. Chinese solar panel manufacturers partner with African governments to bring affordable power to tech zones, enabling data centers and microchip assembly lines to operate sustainably. The Digital Silk Road connects African startups with Chinese e-commerce platforms, offering markets of over a billion consumers. African designers sell fashion on Alibaba. Nigerian game developers distribute through Huawei App Gallery. A decade ago, this was unimaginable. Africa holds 65% of the world's cobalt and vast lithium reserves, vital for batteries. Indian chemical engineers and Chinese equipment suppliers are jointly building battery processing plants in Congo and Namibia. Instead of exporting or, Africa is learning to export finished cells. AI labs in Nairobi, Accra, and Cape Town use Indian algorithms and Chinese GPUs to analyze crop patterns, forecast floods, and improve logistics. The goal, technology that solves African challenges first. Telediagnosis platforms co-developed by Indian hospitals and Chinese device makers now reach millions. During the pandemic, vaccine cold chain sensors built in Shenzhen were integrated with Indian cloud analytics to manage distribution across Africa. India SISRO and China SCNSA share Earth observation data with African agencies to monitor deforestation and urban growth. Small African satellites, built with joint technical training, now orbit above the continent they serve. Picture a triangle on the map. Bengaluru software and design. Shenzhen hardware and manufacturing. 
Nairobi testing and deployment. Data flows among them every second, forming what economists call the tricontinental tech network. Incubators in Lagos partner with Indian angel investors. Chinese venture funds back AI startups in Cape Town. Accelerators teach cross-border management and cultural fluency, creating entrepreneurs fluent in three business dialects, efficiency, innovation, and inclusion. Pilot projects in Kigali and Addis Ababa use IoT sensors, 3D printing, and autonomous buses supplied jointly by Indian and Chinese firms. These are not copy-paste cities. They integrate African architecture, renewable power, and local open-source software. By 2024, African tech investment exceeded $8 billion, quadruple its 2018 level. Indian exports of IT services to Africa rose 45%, while Chinese investment in electronics assembly grew 30%. Analysts project that by 2035, high-tech industries could add $500 billion annually to Africa as GDP and create 10 million skilled jobs. Rural electrification enables digital education. Data processing jobs empower women and youth. Regional supply chains cut carbon footprints. The multiplier effect is visible in every sector, from fintech to agriculture tech. At the heart of this new alliance are not just politicians or CEOs, but young innovators. Meet Aisha, a Kenyan coder trained through an Indian online bootcamp. She developed a mobile platform that helps farmers access weather forecasts powered by Chinese satellite data. Then there's Kwame a Ghanaian robotics engineer who interned in Shenzhen and now runs a startup assembling affordable drones for crop monitoring. His company S Key Investors are from Bengaluru and Beijing, a living example of collaboration beyond borders. These individuals are the real bridge between continents. African women are stepping boldly into this new high-tech space. Indian institutions are offering scholarships specifically for African women in AI and data science. Meanwhile, Chinese manufacturing parks in Ethiopia and Egypt are hiring women engineers and training them in automation and quality control. The result is a wave of female technologists who are not just participating, they're leading. Joint ventures like Sino-Indian TechWorks Africa and AfriNova Systems symbolize the spirit of co-creation. These ventures combine Indian software, Chinese hardware, and African creativity. Factories that once produced textiles now host lines of smart meters, solar batteries, and electric motor parts, all co-designed in Asia, assembled in Africa, and sold across the world. Fintech is one of the fastest growing sectors of this cooperation. India's UPI technology-inspired systems such as MPESAX and AfriPay, which integrate seamlessly with Chinese payment networks like Alipay. This fusion is giving African merchants and consumers the freedom to trade globally without relying on Western banking intermediaries. Every mobile transaction becomes a symbol of sovereignty, powered by partnership. Africa's new high-tech revolution is being designed to be green from the start. Indian solar developers, Chinese battery makers, and African governments are co-investing in renewable power corridors that stretch from Morocco to South Africa. The Green Grid Initiative links solar farms in the Sahara with wind plants along the Indian Ocean. This ensures that new data centers and chip factories run on clean, affordable power. Electric buses built in partnership with Indian and Chinese firms now run through Nairobi, Addis Ababa, and Kigali. Charging stations use hybrid batteries combining Indian chemical design and Chinese nanomaterials. This shift not only reduces pollution, it shows that sustainability can be profitable. African recyclers are learning to process electronic waste using Indian AI sorting systems and Chinese robotic arms. Old phones become new resources. Nothing is wasted. Africa's digital independence is strengthened by undersea cables jointly financed by Indian and Chinese companies. This lowers data costs and ensures that local platforms host African content on African soil. New cloud infrastructure in Lagos, Nairobi, and Johannesburg is powered by a mix of Chinese hardware, Indian software, and African management. This is digital sovereignty in action, data owned, stored, and analyzed within the continent. With power comes responsibility. India's open source ethics framework and China's cybersecurity protocols are being localized for African governance, ensuring data protection and AI fairness. The message is clear. Innovation must empower, not exploit. 
Universities across Africa are forming dual degree programs with top Indian and Chinese tech institutes. Joint research centers explore robotics, nanotechnology, and biotechnology for local industries. These aren't one-off workshops. They're building permanent bridges of knowledge. Beyond technology, collaboration brings friendship. Festivals in Nairobi celebrate Bollywood and Chinese New Year together. Indian films are shot in African landscapes. African artists perform in Shanghai and Mumbai. A new cultural confidence is growing, one that embraces diversity while celebrating shared purpose. Experts predict that by 2035, Africa could become the world's third largest manufacturing hub, trailing only China and India. Here's how that decade might unfold. Expansion of digital universities. Construction of semiconductor parks in Kenya and Egypt. Launch of tricontinental research grants. Africa becomes a global supplier of solar batteries and electric vehicles. Tech exports reach $100 billion annually. Smart city frameworks expand to 20 countries. Africa becomes a testing ground for AI-driven governance and green innovation. The Tricontinental Alliance is recognized as a global model for South-South cooperation. Millions of new tech jobs anchor a middle class driven by knowledge, not resources. Even the brightest future faces obstacles. Bureaucracy, corruption, infrastructure gaps, and data security risks remain real. But with transparency, skill development, and mutual respect, these can be overcome. India and China both learned from decades of trial and error. And Africa is learning fast, skipping steps that others took centuries to master. This revolution is not about replacing one power with another. It is about creating balance in a global economy that finally values innovation from every corner of the planet. The old hierarchy of technology, West leads, others follow, is collapsing. Now, innovation flows in all directions. From Indian coding academies to African schools. From Chinese factories to Nigerian design labs. From African creativity back to Asia's industrial core. It's no longer about dependency, it's about interdependence. Each region brings something unique to the table, knowledge, labor, resources, and imagination. The result? A balanced, multipolar tech world where no one is left behind. Camera pans over bustling ports, shining solar farms, and coding hubs filled with young African engineers. The 21st century will not be written by one nation. It will be co-authored by many. India and China, once symbols of ancient civilizations, are now partners in shaping Africa's high-tech destiny. Together, they are helping the continent leap into a new industrial age, one powered by ideas, not exploitation. This is more than an economic alliance. It is a moral statement. That growth can be shared, that technology can uplift, and that the future belongs to those who build it together. And as we watch this transformation unfold, remember, the story isn't happening somewhere else. It's happening right now, across Lagos, Kigali, Mumbai, and Shenzhen. A new generation is coding the blueprint of tomorrow. This is Iazicho Africa, bringing you the stories of the new global age, where innovation speaks every language and progress has no borders.